today? It's good, good, good. One of our better Wednesdays, actually. Uh, really good, uh, good energy, good focus, um, good, uh, good finish to practice. Uh, a little two-minute drill. And Spence knocked it down. It ended up ended up having a field goal opportunity. That was good to see. So it was good. Uh, Really good finish. How many yards was that field goal team? Remember? I think it was, uh, what was it? 34. Yeah, 30 something. Uh, it's good. Um, In injury wise, yeah. still the same. Uh, yeah, no change. Looks, looks, I mean, looks like Trayvon is going to be available. Uh, he was able to practice today. Um, Mark and Mark Fields practiced all day yesterday, so he actually he, he did everything. He looks good. So it looks like, looks like we're going to be in pretty good shape. Adam Choice, who kind of rolled his ankle, he, he, uh, he should be fine. Uh, so I think we're going to be all right. Mavericks practiced all week. So looks what pretty good the, right now other than a uh, couple guys that have been out. So that would be Edmonds? Greenlee, Greenlee and Edmund. Uh, yeah, Greenlee's quite, not quite there. We, we was hoping he'd be able to go this week, but he's still not quite ready. And then Marcus is, is uh, still getting better. You know, it's that midfoot sprain. And just, you know, he's a DB, so, you know, he's got it's got to get right. But I'm, I'm hopeful that uh, we'll get him back here soon. What is the impetus behind Working Man Wednesday in, in a game? Oh, week? it's just a daily. About? It's just our daily focus. You know, it's just it's midweek. You know, um, it's we, we 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 just just a mindset that you got to have. <coughs> um, you know, you, you, you've been grinding Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's the last day of pads, and it's just kind of bringing that 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 right mindset out here, and, and uh, we're good football focus and. And then it also, uh, so that's that's part of it. And then it's also uh, a routine for the day, you know, as far as this is what we do on Working Man Wednesday. This is our practice schedule. This is our meetings. This is this we have a we have a team meeting that's, uh, you know, individualized for that day. It's truly a daily focus. So uh, it just gives us good routine. You know, that's that's what we try to keep around here. It's a good good solid routine. How uh, your uh, as you get ready now, a couple days away, feel pretty good. The team, the, their energy, and everything. Or yeah, something? yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, we're, you know, these guys they love to play, and uh, this will be a this will be a, a great environment. And, you know, you got two undefeated teams. And somebody going to win, somebody going to lose. So, anytime we have an opportunity to light the scoreboard up and, and determine a winner or loser, these guys are always ready to play. And, and uh, but you know, just got to put the work in and, and stay committed to to the grind, that's what it takes. And like I said, it's been a good week so far. I know that you won't be able to really appreciate it Saturday night, but is it fun kind of watching Bud Foster and the Minimals perform <laughs> their craft in the same stadium? Yeah, well, as a lifetime offensive guy, uh, <laughs> I have a great appreciation for, for uh, great defensive coaches, you know, and uh, that's, that's two of the best ever right there uh, so I have you know I, Bud's a great coach you know and he's been one of those guys that has been so loyal to the school and loves what he does and you know Brent's the same way he loves what he does and is so passionate about it and, um, and so it's just it's it's uh, it, it's not always fun to go against that every day in practice uh, you know but I've, I've uh, I, I just have like I said great respect for um, for both those guys 64 and 9 is the record that you've had since Brent showed up here on campus. 61, 64 out of 73. Yeah, so it'd uh, yeah, be uh, 2012. Yeah. After, yeah, after the, yeah, after the. <laughs> Oh yeah, after the West Virginia game. Yeah. When we weren't ever gonna win another game, you know? <laughs> the world was over, right? <laughs> and we were we were we were doomed and gloomed. And uh, could you have ever foreseen winning absolutely. 64 out of 73? Absolutely. Now? Yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah. Saw it in 08, you know? It just yeah, you just it's a process it's a journey you know you just slowly uh, create what you see you know through every through your daily actions your the people you, you you involve yourself with recruiting discipline uh, adversity you know all of that and yeah absolutely uh, I wish it hadn't taken us eight years to win the national championship I wish we could have won it year four year three year two year six you know it didn't happen uh, but it's just all part of our journey and uh, but man Brent's been uh, it's been a, it's been awesome you know having him here and, and then uh, you know Tony and Jeff uh, 
and Streeter. Uh, check their records. Pretty good. Uh, them old boys have done an awesome job for us. And just uh, we got a good, good group, and we try to keep the main thing the main thing around here.